We're wrapping blueberry tart. Let's start with the shell. For the shell, we add six tablespoons of sugar, half teaspoon salt, mix them together. We'll add two cups of unsalted butter. It's less mess if we combine them by hand. I'm gonna add three cup of white flour. We have a nice firm dough. We're gonna refrigerate it for half an hour, then we roll it. We're gonna cook the vanilla filling for our blueberry tart. I'm gonna add two glass of sugar. In medium heat, I'm going to add six cups of milk. I need a whisk for this process. We reserve some of the milk on the side for our cornstarch. I'm going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm going to add half teaspoon salt. Two teaspoon vanilla. We're gonna heat all these ingredients up. We're gonna add. We're gonna add for our reserve milk, cold milk, six tablespoon of cornstarch, and dissolve it completely. I'm gonna beat separately six egg yolk. Leave them on the side. I'm gonna add my cornstarch mix, and I have to stir all the time from now on. We put it in medium heat at this stage. Now my milk is hot, very close to boiling. I'm gonna timber my egg by adding some of the hot milk into it and mix it up. I'm gonna add gradually my tempt egg yolk. I have my ready vanilla custard filling. I'll keep stirring it until it gets thickened. Can use wooden spoon. Now my custard is thickening it up. I'm gonna turn off the heat and continue stirring. I'm gonna grease it a bit at the bottom. Bring my dough, spread it around. To have even looking, I can use the spatula. I try to make the edges even all around. Our hand is vertical utensils, so with the back of my palm. I push the dough small area I use my finger I'm going to use a knife to cut the excess nothing goes waste it goes in the base we want thick base so we distribute this all over our base and now we need fork with a fork I'll make a nice hole to prevent the dough from buffing up and minimize the shrinkage. I'll bake it at 375. I have a blueberry as a topping for my tart and two mixer as a garnish. This is very soft fruit and this is very hard fruit. So we got to boil them and they want nice nice half from my nectar I'm gonna put my nectar in the saucepan add three tablespoons of sugar put it on high heat and add some warm water for it cover it up and check in the next 10 minutes 
Now they are ready. I'm gonna take them out. It's easy to cut and garnish my tart. I'm gonna reduce the syrup furthermore. Then I can use it to deglaze my fruit. We got the shell out of the oven. I flash it under the broiler. It's golden color. I'm gonna just drizzle some of the syrup from the fruit. Wallah hadi. Gonna add the filling. We need our blueberry. Now we filled all the blueberry. We just wanna go in the edges and add a touch of these peaches. So it will look a little more fancy. So I have my syrup, just little touch on the beaches to blend in the color. It adds flavor because it's syrup. We have to refrigerate it four to five hours until completely cold. Then we'll enjoy having it. Shifasak, bye bye.